Hey guys, and welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, the King of Do. We've got some awesome news lined up for you today. Some interesting articles that I ran across, and even a really small altcoin that you've probably never heard of. Um, did some research today on that, so got some interesting little bits of information to share with you. So stick around, but let's get right to it. Uh, Steam Fest 2 was announced, and I can't tell you how much I want to go to this. Uh, it's going to be in Lisbon, Portugal, and it's going to be this November. And uh, at the rate that this channel is growing and my success on Steam, um, it's uh, plausible. Uh, I'm not going to set a goal for it quite yet because I don't know if this, uh, this recent success is just... Um, you know, right place, right time, or if this is really going to turn into something, but um, at the rate I'm going, um, this is actually within reach, um, which is really, really cool. So um, if you're on Steam it and uh, you want to meet me there, there's a reason to upvote me because I definitely want to go. I'm going to try to see what I can do about this. Um, and uh, it's exciting. So I'll be doing some research and getting all the pricing together and everything. And it would be fascinating to pay for the whole trip using nothing but Steam. Um, so that is pretty exciting. Um, in other news, um, Amazon um, has decided to end its unlimited cloud storage feature. Um, I'm guessing there was some abuse. <laughs> unlimited um, is a dangerous thing to advertise and say. Um, in today's age, I know that I uh, probably am one of the abusers as far as how much I put up there. Uh, very disappointed. Um, you know, I don't. I'm gonna have to go back and read the terms of service, find out if I'm gonna get any money back for the, for what's going on here. I, I actually have to go make some decisions around storage. But for those of you that are o owning storage coins, um, this type of news is uh, more reason um, for those solutions. Uh, now I actually believe in those solutions more. No joke, guys. Uh, I came home and read the email. I, I found out when I got home from work, my belief system in those uh, new coins, those new opportunities, in applying blockchain technology to storage has completely changed. Now I am upset, right? I am not happy. I'm disgruntled because a centralized organization really, really uh, messed with me on this one because I got signed up. I paid for it in advance for a year at a time, etc. And now you're limiting me. It's not what I signed up for. It's not what I'm paying for. Um, and that's frustrating, right? Well, I believe in a day where you pay for exactly what you need, only what you need. Um, and hopefully I'm paying one of you out there for that space, right? Um, or maybe I have additional space and you're paying me while it's available, right? Okay. So... Um, I would be surprised if those coins are blowing up right now. Um, I do want to take a quick look at the markets here. I'm going to bring it up on my screen. I'm going to jump over to Polo here and just kind of see the Asian markets woke up about 30 minutes ago. I'm here on the West Coast. It's about 7.30. And uh, you'll have to uh, give my browser a second. Polo is smashed right now. Uh, BitShares is through the roof right now. Um, we've got Lisk up 30 points. Lisk is on a roll. Um, I hope you guys bought Lisk. Uh, the other day when I told you it was right before it blew up and it has not stopped its momentum. Looks like everything is up. Steam is up and Next is up. Um, so I guess I can't take the credit for very much here if everything is up. Um, big loser right now, surprisingly, Storage Coin. The one that I expected to be in the green because of this news around Amazon. Um, it's finally having a course correction. It definitely went to the moon rather quickly. Um, there are other storage coins. Psy coin would be one. Um, let's see if Psy is uh, still rocking on the momentum that it had recently. It's only up a point, but the volume is very, very strong right now. So that's what's going on with the storage coins uh, right now. So really no uh, large response to that news. But again, I just found out about it. So I don't know if it's like breaking still. Um, and uh, well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully Amazon uh, will change their stance on this. But... Um, they're in trouble, I think. Um, I think that a lot of cloud services are going to be in trouble here soon. I was learning about a, a something called um, Fog Services. Um, and there's actually a coin that's coming out that's using it. S-O-M-N, I believe is what it is. Or is it N-M? Um, SOM, I don't know how to pronounce that. 
Um, but that there's an ICO coming out uh, very, very soon uh, this week, I believe. And um, I'll have to double check that calendar. I apologize for not having that. It just came off the top of my head to talk about it. But the uh, concept of a cloud is, you know, it's it's still it's still centralized somewhere. Maybe there's a two or three different places, some redundant systems, right? Well, fog fog is like um, the idea is that clouds are in the sky, like somewhere way out there. But then you bring the fog in, and the fog is like what's around you, okay? So pretend you live in an office environment and you're a graphic designer and you need to do some crazy amount of rendering. Well, the idea is that you should be able to access all of the computing power in the entire office, like maybe while everyone's at lunch, right? Um, all of the uh, computers in the office start processing and rendering for you um, and things like that. Um, or maybe you're just using what someone's not using, right? So right now, my computer, I'm actually mining with only 20% of uh, my cores and uh, it's not affecting anything. It's not affecting this video. It's not affecting any programs that are running in the background. And that's a good example of like, I can still give off some of my power. Um, now that is not fog because it's somewhere really far away. But the idea is, is what if I was giving that to my neighbor? Or if you work in a tech center with a bunch of other little small tech companies, you guys could all share power together, um, which is kind of a cool concept. Um, it's kind of just like that also like the internet of things the con the idea behind that is is that because basically everything has a chip and a processor in it or some kind why not tap into that power why not put everything on the grid um and share that so that's what a fog is i learned about that and there's uh, and that's something that's fascinating about that coin that's uh coming out it's a uh, part of the white paper so if that's interesting to you and you want to learn more about it, go learn about that ICO. Um, I'll try to get that date for you here before you go. Um, moving on, um, I wanted to talk about a quirky little coin. So there's a little altcoin I found um, called uh, Leet, but it's actually spelled upside down, old school. If you're a hardcore gamer, you know what I'm talking about. 1337 coin. Um, I ran across this coin on accident. Uh, it was actually just... Um, I left a podcast on and rolled over to another one and this guy was just mentioned it and I was like I was like oh that's probably another video gaming coin right so I was like that's cool I want to go check that out see what's going on well it's not really um, it's actually a very very small quaint little community people made a little coin and they've actually developed quite a bit of stuff for this coin um, I was rather impressed. I'll bring it up on the screen here for you. And this is their homepage. Um, they got a new logo coming soon, which means they're looking at rebranding. Um, they've got music that plays, so be careful if your speakers are on and stuff. And I'll be honest, I mean, the site's not really impressive, but what's impressive is how much support they have in, um, uh, around this coin. I was also watching how many transactions that are going on, and it seems like there's this little quirky little group of people it's almost like it's kind of like a club in a way, but um, they have some cool features. Uh, one feature that they have is you can like stake, right? But your rewards you can donate uh, to charity, if I understand it right. So that's really cool, um, right? You, have you thought about that? Like you could actually, you know, a lot of people are staking proof of stake and uh, they're staking their coins in their wallets and you could actually donate your, your staking, like your rewards, right? Um, which I think is fa a fascinating idea, right? You believe in something, and you want to, uh, and you find value in it. You want to give it value. You're giving it that coin, which is of value, right? Um, which is pretty cool concept. Um, they do have um, wallets um, for the staking already built out. They're actually on some exchanges. Um, if you're interested in going and checking the prices and volume and all that, um, it's also on Coin Market Cap. Uh, you can find it there. It's a top 200 coin, so it's one of those coins that not in the top 100 yet, um, but maybe one day it'll poke its head up there. Who knows? Um, they have bounties, and people are actually completing the bounties. And if you don't know what a bounty is, basically it's like a reward um, of coins for someone to essentially go and develop or program a certain feature and people are actually doing it they're actually successfully completing these bounties 
so that's kind of cool. Um, there's quite a few faucets um, to get free coins. If you don't know what a faucet is, um, and that's probably new for a lot of you, a faucet is um, often seen on newer, younger coins, and the idea is, is like, um, it's kind of like starter coins, so that you can start playing around, so you have enough to send a transaction or two, um, enough that if you want to develop, it's really for developing, um, that you actually have real life, real coins to work with to execute your transactions, and then the fees are taken, and etc. Um, also, another thing that I've seen with this is that uh, there's actually some decision making. There's actually some type of governance going on with this coin. I've seen over time, um, going through, uh, looking at some notes of the history, that essentially it used to be a hybrid coin where they're doing proof of work, right? Where that's where you're using mining machines and proof of stake. Well, now they're basically moved away from miners and are only proof of stake. So there's some type of. Um, uh, people making decisions thinking about what's what's best for the future what should we be doing with our coin and and they made that decision um, you can check out the block explorer and you can actually see um, a lot of information here as far as transactions that are happening so you can see the blocks here um, the difficulty of the blocks um, so you can actually monitor over time uh, if the adoption uh, goes up by uh, by monitoring how many transactions a day if you wanted to. Um, you can go and see who owns all of them by clicking the rich list and here's the wallets and where they where they are um, and uh, who owns the most, etc. right? So you can see how centralized or decentralized it is. Um, basically the, their forum is on uh, Bitcoin chat forum, the uh, bitcointalk.org um, if you want to go over there, you can actually read from beginning to end all about the coin and everything like that. But again, guys, I'm not, this is definitely not, this is absolutely not a, go, go invest in this. It's, it, th I'm just saying this was fascinating to me because it just seems so, so quaint, but also so much actual tangible proof of work done, things that are actually happening with this coin. Um, and what's interesting too is that there's a halvening that's that's happening here um, on the 10th so very very shortly uh, there will be a happening on this coin um, and so that's something to always pay attention to because usually the prices go up right before it and that's what we're actually seeing right now um, here on here on the Bitcoin talk you can actually see some of the bounties that they've posted and that have been paid out one of the other fascinating things that they have is you can actually earn these coins by playing a game Right here, you can actually earn it by playing Snake. If you know what that game is, you can play Snake and earn it. It's just a faucet. They're just, it's just a cool little project someone put together to, uh, to demonstrate different ways of uh, getting it um, for free. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and then, and there's good information on how the staking works and things like that. There's there's just it's it's pretty well done considering how how quaint it is. I, I've seen coins in the top 100 not be this this well thought out um, or have any proof of work. Let's be honest, right? There's some I, even Ripple. I am still confused on where uh, where the real hardcore proof is. If someone could point me to that, I'd really appreciate it because I'd like to be able to see like tangible. You know, people have vetted out the code and the coin system and the way that the coin increases in value and things of that nature, I really want to understand that deeply, um, especially the ratio of um, how much money is used versus how much Ripple is used in the transactions. I find that fascinating. Um, I've heard that it's almost nothing, but I'd like to think, well, banks are sending billions of dollars, so maybe, maybe um, it makes sense, but um, I haven't really looked into it. So if you guys have any deep insights on ripple on the way that the transactions work and things like that and the actual value i'm looking for the value in the coin not in ripple the the centralized company um working on this with the banks i want the actual coin in and of itself so if you can find that for me please let me know so anyhow um i i found it fascinating um, do not invest in this unless that same money you put in it, you're willing to light on fire right now. So ask yourself, uh, you have, 
$100 in your wallet, would you light it on fire? If the answer is yes, because you think it would be fun to light it on fire and show your friends, then you're probably going to be just okay putting $100 into this particular coin. Um, what's exciting about this coin is just how many you can own. Um, that's exciting for some people. Um, I'll say that. In the, in the sense that um, it is basically so far under a penny, it's not going to take much for you to own a million of them. So um, do the math on that if it ever got to 10 cents, uh, which is crazy, right? There's 23 billion coins, guys. So let's be realistic about it and be realistic about where it could go. But it's so far, so far under a penny. Um, it's kind of interesting. Um, but I do see the value here, right? So the market cap has this price at about 5 million last I checked. Um, which I think is reasonable um, for what is what's been produced and what's out there, um, and so at some point I'd I'd like to believe that some speculative money comes in on this, some future looking ahead type of money comes in on this, and uh, we may see this get as high um, as a penny someday. All that being said, the reason I want to bring it up is because the volume has recently picked up. This thing has just woken up. I don't know what's going on. But volume is, is, is picking up like crazy. The price has gone up through the roof, um, which isn't saying much for where it was at, but it's definitely way up, um, which is probably what's capturing some people's attention. Um, it's been dormant for a while, and it has become alive. Um, and so that's, you know, sometimes that's an early indicator. Sometimes. And not always. Uh, sometimes it's just people screwing around with the, with the markets, right? So... Um, you can uh, get this coin on Cryptopia um, if you um, would be so kind to um, let me know if you want to sign up on that site. I can help you with that. Um, they ha I, I, they actually uh, give uh, a percentage of your trading fees um, to referrals, basically. So if I refer you, I'd actually get a percentage of all your trades. So if you ever want to sign up on Cryptopia, please reach out to me. I, I, I might put it down below um, in my description. I don't know yet. Um, but uh, if you ever do, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate it. And I'd be willing to help you get set up on there. If you don't have any exchange you use, I'll help you get set up on um, an exchange. Just let me know. All right. So that is Elite Coin, um, essentially 1337 coin um which shouldn't be confused with leak coin i believe there is something called leak coin so anyway i just wanted to show you guys that and i thought that that was fascinating today um again don't don't invest in one unless you want to burn your money um but at the same time i get this quirky feeling I just, it's just one of those feelings that sometimes the greatest things in life come from people coming together um with the same belief system and uh, just building and then all of a sudden you have built something great. And um, I see little hints of it here, but we'll see. We'll see, guys. Um, they really don't have much of a following. And uh, we'll see what happens. And I'll end it with saying this. Cryptopia added the ability to trade Bitcoin for it today. So, something to think about. Um... What's next for this coin? Probably something like Bitrex would be a big deal. That's kind of like moving on up. So just keep your eyes peeled. Um, someday when uh, this is uh, worth a penny, you'll remember the King of Do talking about it when it was one hundredth of a penny. So, okay, moving on. Let's talk about Steam. Okay, this is cool. This is called Whale Sonar. And what this is, if you go to, um, you can actually go to steam.loadsup.net slash sonar. And what this is, is just, it looks really silly, but it's kind of fun. But it actually has meaning. So here you can actually see uh, some dolphins right now. And here comes some killer whales. And here's a big, big whale right here, Riverhead. He's a big whale on the site. What this is, is this is a curator tracker. It's monitoring the blockchain, and what it's doing is it's actually saying, here are the people that are upvoting right now on the site. So there goes another whale. So what this is is a potential indicator 
for when you want to post your content because you want to get the whale's attention. You want the whale vote, right? Um, that's at least uh, a strategy. Um, I would hope that people are just producing good enough content that it doesn't matter. Everyone's going to vote on it. But as you can see, there goes two whales right now that are that just got done voting. And uh, essentially, uh, that's how it works. Now, what's interesting about it is it does have sound. Um, I'm going to turn the sound on. It might You might hear something weird here. But um, turn this sound on and see if you guys can hear this. So there's some whale sounds and they actually um, correlate to um, they actually correlate to the type of uh, whale on the screen or dolphin so that you could actually have it run in the background and just by listening you might hear a bunch of big whales all at once on the site so um, all that being said I think it's fascinating to, to make it visual like this however for me I just want to see the data. I just want to see the peaks in the valley so then I know what time of day I'd want to post. That would be real strategy. This is more like knee-jerk reaction. Oh my gosh, I just saw a bunch of whales. I need to post my thing. So all that being said, um, I just got done talking about how 1337 is an interesting little community that's developing fun, quirky things, and that's 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 a good sign. This is a great thing for Steam. Is, 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 um, you may think it's uh, cheesy. I think it's uh, amazing that somebody had the idea, right? Just the idea, but then executed the idea, like took the time to create this, um, and here we are talking about it now, and uh, it's, a, it's a visual representation of what's actually happening in real time on the website. Isn't that cool? So, or on the blockchain, rather. Um, what else? Um, I wanted to think another whale came through and upvoted my stuff. I'm unbelievably grateful. I don't even know what's going on, but thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. You guys are helping me so much, and I'm really, really hoping to go to Steam Fest now. <laughs> like, so keep voting, cause, cause that could that it's like it's like it almost could happen. Like, I I actually need to like get an Excel file out and see um, if that's like a plausible thing and what I would need to try to set goals for. But like, it's blowing my mind. Did not intend for this to happen, guys. But you guys have been awesome in supporting me. Thank you so much. Um. In other news, um, so apparently there's um, a couple little groups of people that um, have gotten together to uh, make a peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, parcel delivery system, and uh, they're going to build it on Ethereum. All my Ethereum fans say, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's funny because I had UPS deliver something to me right before I read the article today, so it was very relevant um, to what I just went through, and I um, just think it's fascinating, you know, we have uh, uh, Amazon drivers in my area, I don't know about your area, but it works exactly like Uber or Lyft, in that um, you basically can just drop packages off or whatever, right, um, and make money that way. I actually had a friend sign up for it while he was uh, uh, he, he quit his job, was getting ready to leave the country, and he did it for a while just for fun, just to see what it was like and have some money while, uh, while he was getting ready to do that transition. And uh, he told me about it, and he's like, yeah, it's just, it's cool. You don't have to deal with people. It's just, you know, you drop the package off, you're done. Um, you know, the, our entire logistical services is, is going to be nothing like it is in 10 years. Um, I read an article the other day about a gentleman... Um, who uh, works at Walmart, that Walmart is starting to reward their employees, um, let them have a side hustle by dropping off something on their way home, right? Delivering on their way home. So that's a fascinating thing. Um, and something to, to uh, be on the lookout for. So, But anyhow, there's, they're, they're trying to create a solution because we all have small smartphones in our wallets, right? So... Is it possible that through blockchain technology that a, that a package in San Francisco could get to New York? Could it exchange 10, 20, 30 hands and get there successfully? Um, only time will tell. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of trust issues in that. So, you know, there's going to be things like reputation level and things of that nature and there will be incentives for me as a delivery person to hand it off to a trustworthy delivery person. 
and not just some random person. But um, I think that that that's a that's might be a little too far and away right now for my brain to wrap around how that would work successfully. Um, but I think it's really cool that they're going to attempt to do it, um, and I'm rooting for them because this space is everyone in this space is way smarter than me. Um, and, uh, you know, if anyone can make something like that and happen and actually change the world, it's them. And let's be real, just because I don't, just because I don't see it working here in America, um, there are places all over the world where it could make so much sense. It's adopted really quickly and it's just, that's how it is. So it's fascinating. Um, saw a little, uh, article, I think this was on Reddit. Um, that I saw it posted. I can't remember who actually wrote the article, but um, it, it was reported that a survey was done in Malaysia and that 48% of uh, Malaysians trust Bitcoin. And uh, I think that's really, uh, really cool. That country is extremely forward thinking. Um, you know, esports is probably one of the bigger sports in that country and things like that. They're very, very forward thinking and their world is nothing like here in America. Um, so, you know, for them to adopt Bitcoin and believe in it and it be at almost 50% uh, just makes sense to me. Um, and so that's exciting. Um, I just I just like saying those things because we all um, live all over the world. Half my audience is not in America. You guys are from all over the world. And what's really neat about that is I get to get so many different perspectives from you guys and learn a lot. But when it comes to... Um, uh, adoption of cryptocurrency and things like that we have to keep our ears open to what's going on around the world we can't ignore it um, because the world is becoming extremely small very fast we need to be very very aware of decisions that are happening all over the world especially in relation to finances so just uh, something to keep in mind um, you know I'll be looking for that number to continue to increase I'll be looking for that number to increase in every country and pay attention to who are the true leaders um, and who are making the right decisions um, in supporting um, this space and helping us uh, decentralize our lives for the better. Okay, one last thing um, that is awesome. Um, let's see if I can actually get you guys a picture here. I actually have it somewhere up here. if I can find it for you. But um, there it is. So um, NVIDIA, essentially has announced a new card but not a card <laughs> so it sounds like they're going to take a gtx 1060 and overhaul it to be able to mine effectively cost effectively uh, ethereum zcash monero and things like that so some some eth hash going on um let me translate this in case you're trying to actually read these titles so um I'm just going to scroll down and show you pictures of it. So it's going to look similar to some type of like ASIC miner or something like that. It's actually a complete system to where they're actually modding these uh, cards um, that NVIDIA makes so that they run cooler, more efficiently for the sole purpose of mining so that it's more plug and play as well. So that you just plug it in and go, uh, which is a huge advantage. Um, and so they should be able to make a big margin from this. Now, the problem is, is that all the farms are going to buy this stuff unless NVIDIA takes a strong stance and says, we will only allow one per household because somebody needs to stand up and start doing that soon because we need to decentralize this type of power. This is very cost-effective mining. People are going to make very, very good money on this if they can get their hands on them. Um, but if they all end up with the, the mining systems and things like that with the miners, We'll never get our hands on them. We will never get to share in the rewards. Instead, your your decentralized currency you hold will actually become more centralized because all the mining is being won by a single mining location uh, somewhere on the planet. So, um, and I know that uh, there's a lot of people who have a lot of different opinions about mining and things like that. Um, I, just full disclosure, I am a miner. Um, and I did, would love to have a machine like this. Right now I have to build them, custom build them myself. Um, and here's some pros and cons that you, ha you can see here between doing it yourself and G GPU mining. Now I do expect this machine to run at least four to $6,000 
um, because it does look like they're going to custom build it out. Um, it looks like it looks beautiful. Um, it looks uh, compact. Uh, the, and everything about it looks fantastic. I see a lot of value here. There is a value here. Um, and so that's exciting. Um, and I just wanted to leave you uh, with that. I think it's really cool because you guys all know that uh, AMD owns this space and NVIDIA is waking up and responding. Um, uh, with that said, you know, um, the end of mining um, profitably at the level that we are right now is, is going to happen. Uh, but right now, there's still a massive gold rush. This stuff keeps going up in value. And for right now, mining is super good right now. It is uh, good old times if you can mine right now. Um, but as uh, with everything, uh, not every gold rush comes to an end, right? So uh, eventually when uh, there's more than enough power out there and there's less and less coins actually doing proof of work, um, mining will dissipate over time. So um, keep that in mind. All right, guys. So that's what I had for you today in the news. And I uh, just wanted to... Uh, uh, say thank you to a couple people. I can't remember who, but thank you for whoever let me know one of my links down below was broken. One of my Amazon t-shirt links. I've, I added some new ones, so I went ahead and updated them. Found some more t-shirts for you guys. Um, those are just my picks. Those are just ones that I thought were cool, ones that you, um, most of you would recognize or think are cool. Um, those t-shirts help support the channel, and they actually help spread the word, right? They bring up conversation while also allowing you to meet other people in our space out in the wild and i strongly encourage that you wear these shirts whenever you go somewhere in public um other than that um pax west tickets went on sale today congratulations to everyone who got their pax west tickets uh, pax is the largest uh video game convention in america right now that's open to the public and uh, it's held in seattle washington it'll be in august and or actually it's in september this year uh early september um, I will be there, yours truly. So if you want to meet the King of Do in person, um, uh, I have a great place we could go to lunch and hang out. I'd love to talk with you um, if you're going to be a part of that. So um, tickets went on sale today. Hopefully you got some. If not, eBay is always available. My best advice is do not buy them now. The price will go significantly down um, as we get closer to the event. Uh, right now, everyone's panicking. Everyone that didn't get one, so demand is really high right now. But uh, just give it some time. And if you want to go, I'd love to spend a day with you, uh, hang out with you, play some video games, maybe some board games, all kinds of games at PAX, uh, even real-life role-playing games outside and running around and assassinating other people. Um, not for real, but um, it's a good time at PAX, and I hope that you guys uh, will uh, be there with me and I get to meet some of you. Um, I want to uh, say thank you again for the donations and the upvotes on Steemit. Really appreciate it. Really uh, like the support that I'm getting means a lot um it's uh, helping my wife uh get excited um about what i'm doing because i spend so little time with her now compared to before i started this um uh, my monitors have arrived my new um uh, monitor stand has arrived i can i can host six screens now total i'm starting off with three i'm gonna add a couple utility ones for my miners and things like that and i'm really excited about it um, but that's an investment I made with my own money. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring you guys better news and better quality content. Um, and I want to keep this going. So that it's something that I'm committing to. Um, but at the same time, my wife is waiting for me to pay her back for, the, for that, right? So um, your donations help ease the pain. I really appreciate it. Um, but with that being said, um, every crypto you give me goes straight into like cold storage, guys. I do not touch it. Um, the only thing, um, the only thing that is uh, raw dollars is really just advertisements and things of that nature. So, really, just watching the videos is all you got to do to help me out, um, or click one every once in a while. <laughs> that's not, that's not honest. Don't do that. But um, yeah, so just so you guys know that, that I want you guys to feel good about knowing where your donations are going. Um, however, the affiliate link money that would help pay for the the equipment that I've invested in and things like that. Um, if you don't want to buy a t-shirt and you shop on Amazon, you can click the link below. I have just a random buy anything on Amazon link. If you just click that before you, before you shop, before you add it to your cart and things like that, um, it's not much. I've only made a couple bucks. I'm only, I, I don't even think I've made enough to get them to send me my first 
ten dollars guys I'm not really making anything but I have had quite a few of you do it and I really appreciate it I've had like five orders so that blows my mind I'm just not make I don't make a lot on it um, you know but every little bit helps the channel and helps me give uh, uh, just helps me get support from my wife let's be real guys so all those that are married say yeah yeah um, <laughs> anyhow I appreciate you guys but that's it for tonight and as always um, I am the king of dew uh, may the force be with you, and I hope you guys have a great night.